Welcome to our Five on Five. Very honored today to be joined by Medford native and Olympic gold medalist Dick Fosbury. Good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Hey, thank you. So you're the track and field legend who, who invented the Fosbury flop, named after you, and I love that you came up with the name. You did this at Medford High, and before we want to get to all your accomplishments, how did you come up with the idea to jump backwards in the high jump? Yeah, it was a process, and it was a, I call it a move of desperation. I, when I was in grade school at Roosevelt, I learned the scissor style, which was an old style. Got into high school where my coach tried to convert me to the classic style. I was a complete failure, went back to the scissors, and I changed it. I moved my body position in order to jump higher uh, in, and make it easier. And it worked, but it took a couple years while I was in high school. And it's the only way people jump today. So did you get made fun of? What did your competitors, your teammates think when they saw you do this strange movement? Well, it was, uh, you know, they were watching, but they kind of just left me alone because I was such an anomaly and, and so unique. I know that I drove my coach crazy because each week in competition, I kept changing. And so there was really no model uh, that we were working toward. Uh, it was just instinctive and, and a natural style. And so coaches left me alone. The fans all loved it, though. They knew it was unusual. And so I, I got a lot of attention from I, that. I imagine. And, and you went on to win two NCAA titles and an Olympic gold in 1968 in Mexico City. Right. What's your favorite memory of Mexico City? Oh, Mexico, you know, there are so many. I mean, this was an amazing team, probably the best U.S. team we've ever had uh, with uh, the first man to break uh, 10 seconds in the 100. Mm -hmm. uh, in the 200 meters, Tommy Smith and right. John Carlos on the podium. Uh, Al Order won his fourth gold medal. It, it was an amazing experience, and it was in North America in Mexico City. So... Uh, it, it, it was a great experience, and it changed my life forever. Certainly, and we'll, we'll talk about that and why you're in town here after we take a quick commercial break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Medford native and Olympic gold medalist in the high jump, Dick Fosbury, inventor, of course, of the Fosbury flop. So you're the keynote at tonight's Southern Oregon uh, Sports Commission banquet. Uh, you're going to talk about Olympian thinking. What is that? Well, I'm going to tell my story about how I developed my technique and, and made it to the Olympic Games, to the top level. And Olympian thinking is what I've learned on the road after that uh, about three key elements that help anyone to really focus and, and become a, an achiever in whatever they do, whether they're an artist, an engineer, uh, business person in their family life, and and uh, so I'm excited to talk about that tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give too much away. Okay, I understand, and it's it's just beginning right now. We appreciate you you coming in here and making time for us. So you no longer live locally, of course. You still have some family here in the area. Where where do you, where are you these days, and how are you spending your time? I've been in Idaho now for 40 years, uh, just outside of the resort of Sun Valley. So I live in a small town, uh, Bellevue. We've got a 20 acre farm and. Uh, I love it. I've been there forever, and I'm never going to move, other than maybe to move back to the Rogue Valley. Well, we'd love to have you back, of course. I love so, it here. Yeah, yeah. All right, good. And so you also recently were elected president at the USOPA. What is that organization? Yeah, thank you. The, that's the U.S. Olympians and Paralympians Association. So it's our alumni, uh, all of the athletes at all of the games, summer and winter. And so this uh, next February, in a year... Uh, this week will be the, the 2018 games in South Korea. Uh, and so I love traveling, meeting athletes, Olympians and Paralympians around the world. And uh, I'll look forward tonight to, to meeting a couple of Olympians that are here in the Valley as well. So Excellent. it's a good job, but uh, somebody's got to do it. Well, we appreciate you making time for us. I know how busy you are. Appreciate it so much. Thank you. You bet. My pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.